What is the best piece of financial advice you've received? We're about to share with you some of our favorites. Hi, I'm Doug Ray. I'm the president and founder of the Wealth Guardians Radio Show and the Ray Financial Group. And I'm Garrett Ray, and you've entered the vault, the Wealth Guardians video series on all things pertaining to retirement planning. In this episode, we're going to cover some of our favorite pieces of financial advice that we've ever received. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. All right, Doug, let's get into this. What are what is some of the best financial advice that you've ever received? Well, I tell you, the first one is going to sound very simplistic. I like but, simple. Yeah. <laughs> I gave this advice to you many, many years ago. I'm sure you did. But basically, it's just to get in a habit of consistently putting money in an investment, you know, whether you're buying um, individual stocks or ETFs or something like that, do it every pay period or once a month, but you'll be amazed over the years how much that'll grow. Now, back years ago, when I got that advice, we didn't have discount brokers and we didn't have exchange no. traded funds. So you pretty much had to do mutual funds. Right. Now, you have discount brokers, you have uh, exchange traded funds and stocks, and you can buy these uh, in a discount brokerage account super cheap. And amazingly, again, get in the habit, consistency, and you will retire a millionaire. <laughs> well, I like that one, Doug. Um, at least as far as me, you know, this was give, this is a piece of financial advice that was given to my first boss uh, when I got out of the Navy. So first kind of business world job, uh, still close with this person uh, to this very day. And he said, hey, you know, don't leave free money on the table. And what is he talking about here? Well, if you have any sort of employer plan, like a 401k that has an employer match, make sure you're taking full advantage of it. And it might look something like this. Your company may say, we will match 100%, or sometimes the, the phrase will be dollar for dollar, up to 4%. Some companies are generous up to 5 or even 6% of your annual salary. Well, in order to qualify for that, let's say the example is 4%. Well, you yourself have to contribute at least 4% of your annual salary to that program, and then they're going to match an additional 4%. So if we think about it, you're putting in aside 4% of your salary into this plan, but you're really getting the equivalent of 8% of your total salary. And we that's essentially free money, folks, and you got to take full advantage of that. So that's always stuck with me. Uh, I started that as a, you know, younger in my career, uh, in my middle 20s, and um, that consistency, getting that compound interest, that compound growth, really starts to pay off in the latter years. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, don't, absolutely. Don't leave free money on the table. What's another one for you, Doug? What's another good piece? Well, I think it's a follow on to the first one about consistently making uh, an investment. Why not consider doing that in a Roth IRA? Because mm. that money that you put in there consistently all the time is going to end up growing for you tax free. And eventually when you go to use that account in retirement, that money is going to come out tax free. And I think that uh, down the road, tax-free income is going to be worth its weight in gold. So mm -hmm. that would be a couple things I would consider if you are a, a younger investor starting out, even if you're middle-aged or even if you're retired. You yeah. know, never yeah. hurts. That's a good one too, Doug. Uh, the next one that I have is a little bit of uh, a play on some advice that we've all kind of uh, heard Dave Ramsey put out there. And this one revolves around credit cards. You know, if you listen to Dave Ramsey long enough, you, you'll know that he's not a fan of credit cards. In fact, he advises you to cut them up and throw them in the garbage can. Um, as far as at least where I'm at with that, you know, I, I would say I wouldn't go as far as what what Dave is saying. Um, but if you do have a credit card, make sure you only have one um, and make sure that you are closely monitoring the balance on, on that credit card. And you're paying it off at the end of every month. Dave Ramsey is, in, is totally correct that the obscene interest rates that you get charged for unpaid balances can be very, very high. We're talking 18, 19, even in the low 20s as far as percentage of interest that they're going to charge you for an unpaid balance. Um, there are some positives about having a credit card. It shows your, uh, builds your credit history, shows your credit worthiness to financial institutions. 
if there's a time in your life where you need to apply for a loan, such as a mortgage, that sort of thing. So having a solid credit history can be a good thing. But Dave is correct that you can really get yourself in some debt trouble if you don't pay off that balance every month. So if you have one, make sure you only have one so you can keep track of it and definitely make sure you're paying it off each and every month. Well, Doug, I think we gave some pretty good uh, advice to some folks. You got anything else for us? I think that's four solid pieces of advice that they can build a financial foundation on. I like it. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of The Vault. Again, feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons to catch all future episodes. And remember, financial plans do not create themselves. I'm Garrett Ray. And I'm Doug Ray. And this has been The Vault.